In this video, we'll talk more about how we indicate the types of our function parameters and return values. Take a look at this function named getTotal. It has one parameter of type list, and it returns an int. The job of getTotal is to return the sum of the items in the given list. When I implement this function, I expect that the values list is a list of ints, not a list of booleans, strings, floats, or any other type. Instead of simply saying that values represents a list, we can specify that values represents a list of int. By adding the element type into the type annotation using this bracket notation. Now that you've seen this new way to annotate types, you may be wondering when to use an unspecified list versus also providing the inner element type with the square brackets. The guideline is to be as precise as possible. If a function takes a list of floats, then use the list of float notation. However, if a function will work with lists of any type, then simply use list without specifying the inner type to indicate that. In older versions of Python, you had to specifically import components of the typing module in order to be allowed to specify inner types. For each data type, there was a version of the class that started with the uppercase letter. You needed to import the uppercase version and then use it in the type signature. So in older code and in many older videos, you'll see something like this. Code that does this will still run under the current versions of Python, but it is no longer necessary. You shouldn't use the uppercase versions in your code, but you shouldn't worry if you see it written in code by someone else or in 108 materials created before this term. There is one exception. When working with files, you'll need to import the typing module in order to use annotations to represent that type.